Welcome to Olds Mob 455. Today we're working on this front suspension kit. In previous video we showed where it was totally worn out and these are usually shown in videos where guys have them in then all of a sudden they're changed out and the kids don't see how they're done. Today he's going to end up burning these out and getting that shell out which is kind of a pain in the butt especially if you don't have a way to press them out or make a tool that you drive them out with running thread and a washer so he's going to show you a different way to do it and it's a lot easier this one isn't through the shell yet but the kit came with new shells so we'll pop them all in now I went with a PST kit because it comes with this shaft for the upper A-arm I found that sometimes these threads actually strip out so I immediately went for the kit that had that and it came with everything else too, tire ends and whatnot. Well, step one is get the rubber out of there. A lot of times it's pretty much bonded. So we're going to heat it up with oxycetylene. Maybe you could do this with a propane torch, I don't know. And then see if we can push it out with a rod. Pretty much guaranteed that these are going to start on fire. Do this at night time so the neighbors don't see it. Trying to keep the heat off the control arm. Oh. It's all the grease. Oh, does that stink? Yeah. <whistles> Start to get burned by that. Oh, it's dripping down. We should have a pan on this. Push it. Oh, push it real good. Dee, 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 dee. There's not as much material left in this one. It should be easier. Yeah, I'll try to get it all the way around the shell, too. Going that way? Cool. And threads all screwed. Dude! What? Oh, oh man, is Craftsman still in business? The last okay. threads are gone. Yeah, I, I've had these strip out before doing this, so like I said, new shafts are usually a good idea. We're going to try to get the rubber out now. And if I remember right, the shaft is going to interfere with the shell. So one thing at a time, we're going to try to get the rubber out first. So there is an interference there. If I was going to save the upper control arm cross shafts, I'd probably use a hacksaw at this point. Carefully cut a slit in there, not getting into the control arm. But I realize these shafts are actually different. I think the pastor one might have got changed out. Our kit came with new cross shafts. So we're going to make life easy and just cut these shafts out. One of the bushing shells was not pressed in all the way. It's a lip on one side, and the other side is supposed to be flush. If we're taking it apart, it doesn't really fit in the press too well. So we're going to use a ball joint press. Well, I'm up into this flange here. So in order for it to touch most of it, not just touch on one spot, I had to alleviate that. Probably minimal distortion is we're going to get. Go 
cut an ever so slight groove in there. We'll try to collapse it in on itself from the bottom. Oh! Let's see if we can beat it out like that. Film and hold this thing. Get to the other side. We got the lower control arm here. We're getting ready to press the bushing shell in. We're gonna go until this is flush with the arm. We can't just press it like this though, otherwise we could get collapsage here. So to create a lot of surface area and support, I just cut a piece of angle iron here. And just being hand tight, I can't even get this in there. We'll back it off. Pieces in a good tight, huh? Do the same for this guy. Had that piece of metal not been in there, this would have surely collapsed. Here's a new cross shaft. I'm going to install it with the wheel side facing up. And this is a little trickier because you can't really press one in and then get this cross shaft in there. So this cross shaft is going to have to be in there for the press. So to keep this whole rig from collapsing, I've cut a piece of angle iron to span across the whole deal. Both these castings have the same part number, so I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yep. So we'll just repeat from this side. We need a different setup for the next press because this is protruding where that plate would have gone. The hard part's over. From here we take this tape off, lube up this bushing with this grease, stick it in, stick the sleeve in it, and then get the washer and nut on it, and then get the weight of the car on it uh, before we final torque it. Because we don't want the bushings holding the car up. That's all there is to it, to upper control arm bushings. Not too bad if you have a press.